Today I show you how to choose the right photo formats for your iPhone. This is the iPhone 16 Pro Max with iOS 26 and I'm in the photo mode now. I could be in video mode but this is about the video mode. This is about the photo mode of iOS 26 and uh, really the best option I believe is the high efficiency image codec 48 or RAW for the best quality if you want RAW 48. These are really the best options and the, the Hake setting will go back to, the, to 24. So depending on the settings you have and you can take pictures with the multiple lenses in macro mode here, the lenses will be a little bit different. So these uh, the subjects here, they are really close. These subjects here, they're really close, so the other lenses wouldn't really work very well. I could try now. I could try to make this one. Okay, so let's let's look at Tum Tum Sahur here. And yeah, now you can see the eyes. It's easier to see it. Yeah, so the settings you can have, I can take a picture of this now. I can zoom in and it's automatically adjusting the lenses. And I can zoom in to this other character, painted one, and you can see the details. It's pretty detailed, I like it. And the uh, formats here, that's resolution up to a maximum, resolution up to a maximum of 48. It will use a lower resolution automatically when there is not much data for a larger file. So that's a really nice option where you can have you can have a larger file or a smaller file based on the details of this photo. So here is 12 megapixel, and this is because there wasn't much information in the picture. It's automatically deciding that. You can look at the you can look at the camera settings. You open the settings up and here go to camera. You have lots of options for, for this, for video, for everything there. But look at formats for photos, especially you can choose between HAIF or JPEG. You can choose between HAIF or JPEG. In high efficiency mode, it's using the HAIF files. In high efficiency, in camera capture mode, in high efficiency, it will record HAIF files. And in most compatible way, it will record JPEG files. I prefer HAIF. I prefer high efficiency and HEVC, H.265 versus H.264. And the photo mode, you always want the highest number depending on each model, future models of iPhones. They might have different settings here. And you, I really prefer to keep the option for, for Pro Row and resolution control it's to be able to use the JPEG XL lossless or JPEG lossless. These are different formats. Depending on which format you use, you might be able to read this file or another computer or not. But most of the time, newer formats, they get more popular. Like HAIF, for example, is more popular now than JPEG. It's getting there because of phones trying to use this more. You get the same quality for a smaller file size. Basically, that's what it does. And JPEG Excel lossless, this one, I didn't really look too much into it. But this one is going to be with not like the JPEG with the artifacts on it and all that. And um, yeah, for camera, this for, for photos, these are pretty much the options. And you have lots of settings for flash and for live photo. I like the option for live photo because you can you can actually take a photo, but actually the photo you can play it like a video. So I show you now I took a picture and I can do like a bounce. You can see it. It it even has sound. What it's doing is recording a video next to it. So you can see now how it's moving. That's because it's a video next to the photo. So it's a video and a photo next to each other. When you if you copy the image files out from the iPhone, you will see a photo and a video with the same name. That's a really nice option. So, Hafe 48 or 24 megapixel. 
these are pretty much the options now and the cameras the cameras on the iphones they get better and better all the time on all phones including android and iphones so who knows how many megapixels they will be in the following years but usually there is a limit on how much you can see on the screen unless you zoom in if you start to zoom in then you will see if you start to zoom in then you will see details and maybe even crop some part of the image then you need more resolution i hope this helps you decide on which format to use for your iphone if you use raw it will use raw formats will use more space more disk space and i could show you now for example this one is half and it's using 1.6 megabytes another half 1.8 megabytes this is a video it's progress this one no so i was recording i was taking pictures of myself in a previous that's how i have the microphone here so half half you can see here that's the information of the file and they're mostly they're small files they're not very large files even when it's in 24 megapixel mode it's still it's still a small file but when you go to the raw files then it gets a little bit different okay so this one this one is half 2.8 megabytes 12 megapixel the same 12 megapixel in raw format is 15.6 and it's 15.6 jpeg is 3.6 so jpeg will be larger than the half that's why the half is preferred now 3.5 and the half is 1.2 in this case and uh, 1.4 different 1.8 but even not even not above 2 megabytes this one is raw 15 megabytes 12 megapixel file raw 15 megabytes 12 megapixel file and the same 12 11 and raw 15 megabytes again 15 you, you can even have 18 megabytes file which is not much there so you see the half is really the best option for space and quality and raw is the complete best quality you can have from your iphone but you will have to keep more storage available for it because it will need more storage and the most compatible is jpeg but i believe really half is getting more popular and especially hevc for video and half for for photos before it was jpeg and h264 the h264 is the video from before hvc and it, the new hvc it also calls it's also called h265 such a long story with these formats better most of the time you want to use the default formats that come with your iphone the settings just make sure the resolution is good enough so you don't use a low resolution like 12 megapixel in these modes it will automatically increase the resolution when needed and keep a small file when there are not much details to to have a larger file thanks for watching i hope this helps you